Hello guys, hope you have been fine. So we will be looking at Johnny Depp receiving a gold medal of merit and saying it's a new start without Amber Heard. Stay tuned as we bring this to you. Serbian President Aleksandr Vucic presented Johnny Depp with a gold medal of merit on Tuesday during a ceremony commemorating Serbian State Day in Belgrade, Serbia. According to Balkan Insight, the 58-year-old actor was honored for his outstanding merits in public and cultural activities, particularly in the field of film art and the promotion of the Republic of Serbia in the world. I truly, sincerely thank you, President Busek, and this Medal of Merit. If I am given the honor to walk away with this, I thank you for being kind enough to bestow it upon me," Depp responded. He stated that he was right now on the verge of a new life, in the midst of tumultuous times, and that he hoped the event was the start of good things to come. I like a new beginning, and I'd like that new beginning to begin here," he said. The Kentucky-born actor, who has recently been involved in a number of projects outside of the country, including the 2020 film Minamata and the animated show Puffins, described receiving the medal as a very proud moment in his life. Depp has been embroiled in controversy since his ex-wife Amber Heard accused him of domestic violence. He lost a high-profile case at the High Court in London in July 2020 after the Sun newspaper described him as a wife-beater, and he sued. In 2016, Heard filed for divorce, accusing him of verbal and physical abuse, and testified in London. In the aftermath of the case, Depp lost his lucrative role in the Fantastic Beasts franchise and was eventually replaced by Mads Mikkelsen. However, Depp was granted permission to proceed with a $50 million defamation lawsuit against her in the United States last year. Depp claimed in September that he had become a victim of cancel culture, warning that no one is safe and urging those affected to stand up for themselves before accepting an honorary award at the San Sebastian Film Festival in Spain. Depp said the situation had gotten so out of hand. Depp told a Spanish audience that he saw himself as a victim and was concerned about the societal ramifications. Before taking the stage to accept his award, Depp discussed cancel culture and urged people to stand up for those facing injustice. It can be seen as a historical event that lasted for however long it lasted. This cancel culture, this instant rush to judgment based on what essentially amounts to polluted air, he told Deadline. It's gotten so bad now that I can assure you that no one is safe. Not even one of you. There was no one outside that door. Nobody is safe. It only takes one sentence to cover all the ground. The carpet has been pulled. Depp stated that he was concerned about more than just himself. This hasn't just happened to me. It's happened to a lot of people, he said. This has happened to both men and women. It doesn't matter if a judgment has taken some artistic license, he said. When there is an injustice, whether it's against you, someone you love, or someone you believe in, stand up, don't sit down. Because they require your assistance. According to Deadline, Depp is eager to answer questions about the current state of his career despite his ongoing lawsuit against Heard. Based on a 2018 Washington Post op-ed she wrote claiming to be a survivor of domestic violence, a Virginia judge ruled in August that he can proceed with the litigation. She did not mention Depp in the story, despite publicly accusing him of abusing her during their 2016 divorce. Busick, who was elected president in 2017, has also faced controversies, including allegations of corruption, press repression, and a shift toward authoritarianism. Hundreds of people attended the event to protest lithium mining, prompting local authorities to close nearby roads. Serbian State of Day commemorates the early 1800 uprising that sparked the Serbian revolution against Ottoman rule. When asked about the future of his Captain Jack Sparrow role in Pirates of the Caribbean, Depp stated that the character would never leave him and that no one could ever take the character away from him. He then surprised the audience with an impromptu Captain Jack impression according to Deadline. His appearance in Spain came just a month after a court granted him permission to proceed with the $50 million defamation suit against her. Depp expressed his dismay at the current state of the film industry, particularly the rise of streaming. He claimed that many people, including himself, realized they were disposable. Hollywood isn't what it used to be, he responded. The court is not persuaded by the defendant's argument that plaintiff had a full and fair opportunity to litigate the UK action. Ascarate wrote in a lengthy decision issued today. Defendant was not a part of the UK action and was not treated as such, she adds, though it should be noted that both Heard and Depp testified in London on their respective points of view on the various allegations of his abusive behavior. She was not subject to the same discovery rules applicable to named parties because she was not named a defendant.
the judge determined. In fact, defendant could not have been a named defendant in the UK litigation because her allegedly defamatory statements were made after the UK action commenced, Ascart said, referring to Verd's December 2018 Washington Post op-ed, which sparked Depp's legal action not long after. Then noting that comparisons between free speech in the United Kingdom and free speech in the United States are untenable in this case, Ascari twisted the point even further. Defendant argues she was in privity with the son because they both had the same interest in the case, she wrote. However, for privity to exist, defendant's interest in the case must be so identical with the son's interest that the son's representation of its interest is also a representation of defendant's legal right. Ascarate added in her sometimes scathing opinion, at one point calling her assertions puzzling. The Sun's interests were based on whether the statements published by the newspaper were false. The 10-page opinion letter continues. Defendant's interests are in determining whether the statements she published were false. Mr. Depp is very pleased with the court's decision. The actor's lawyer Ben Shu of Brown Rudnick's DC office told Deadline tonight, with brevity and understatement. Depp, who was fired from Fantastic Beasts, and where to find them earlier this year, has won his second legal battle against Heard in almost as many weeks. A New York judge ruled earlier this month that Depp could conduct a determination if his Rum Diary co-star did, in fact, donate a portion of their $7 million divorce settlement to the ACLU, as she has publicly stated. After being postponed several times due to the pandemic and other factors, the Virginia case is now scheduled to go to trial in April. The initial suit claimed that Heard's WAPO piece cost the Jack Sparrow actor a role in Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean reboot, but it also claimed that Depp was the true victim of the couple's brief marriage. While the op-ed never mentioned Depp by name, the couple's downward spiral ended in full public view in 2016, with the actor paying his now ex-wife large sums of money that she could have donated to charity. Miss Heard is not a victim of domestic abuse. She is a perpetrator, Depp's suit stated in the spring of 2019. Since the filing, Depp and his team have repeatedly stated that Heard has been lying about any abuse at the actor's hands, as evidenced by a steady stream of media leaks and footage. Prior to filing her countersuit, Heard had not only tried repeatedly and unsuccessfully to have the case dismissed, but she had also requested that it be moved to another jurisdiction, which did not go so well. Depp, on the other hand, attempted to undermine the UK case and Heard's credibility by claiming that his ex did not donate all of the $7 million she received in their divorce to LA's Children's Hospital Foundation and the American Civil Liberties Union, a claim that is partially true, according to Heard's top lawyer at WME. Amber has already been responsible for seven figures in charitable donations and intends to continue to contribute and eventually fulfill her pledge. Elaine Bredehoft of Ristan. VA told Deadline on January 7 this year. However, Amber has been delayed in that goal because Mr. Depp filed a lawsuit against her. That's all we had for you today. Hope you enjoyed the show. If so, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Also show us some love by clicking on the like button below and sharing the video with your friends and family. Turn on the notification button to get updates on our new videos. That's all we had for today. Bye. See you next time in the upcoming video.